And in Cone Zone tonight, we have an update on the progress of the Southeast Connector Project. Yesterday, a judge in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals denied that injunction that would have stopped construction on the connector. Chloe Beardsley joins us now here in the studio at the very latest on this project. Big vote, Chloe. That's right, Kristen, and while the judge denied the injunction, the fight isn't completely over yet. An expedited hearing was approved for an appeal that would potentially block the project. Now we talked with both sides today to get their perspective on the recent turn of events. We find this litigation bothersome. We believe that we are working on a sound basis of science, of public involvement, on the best alternative. We're cleaning up a 150-year-old mercury problem out there. And the litigation started in the first place because the Upper Southeast Communities Coalition has environmental concerns like mercury contamination and destruction of wetlands. The coalition gave this statement on the ruling this week, saying our efforts are to try and get as much information as possible on this plan to build a six lane highway through a local and federally designed flood storage area, a FEMA designated floodway, and to get questions answered on the plan to dig up ground that contains a significant amount of methyl mercury and build an above ground hazardous storage area for it. Now, the next step is the coalition has until July 14th to turn in a written argument to stop the Southeast Connector construction, and we'll be sure to keep you posted on when that happens and going forward. Covering on Chloe Beardsley, Channel 2 News.